in every community, when you make a proposition, be it a committee of scientists, mathematicians, friends, or what, you have three groups. There's one group who likes the proposition and wants to cooperate. There's a second group that says, oh, it's very nice, but unfortunately, it's impossible. Right? Huh? right? Yes, that's what they say. Was making a point. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. it's very nice, but it is impossible. <laughs> These are the people who say but. Right, that's what she just yes. said. And the third group is the one that does not want it. But these people do not use a separate language. They use the language of the people who think it is impossible. So we have the, all the reasonable people sitting together and we think that is one group. It is not. It is half a group of people who honestly think it can't be done and the other are malicious hecklers who don't want it to happen and will use, however, the question, the language of declaration of impossibility. And that is our radical next step. How can we turn it off? It being the English language in the mouth of people who don't want change. You have to learn the language of anti-change people. The language. Never mind the anti-change people. Forget them. Marry them. Do whatever you want. <laughs> But the language they speak has to be grating on your chin, on your back. You must ask for a massage after having talked to such a person. It should be like measles or ticks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>